फॉर मी कैट वॉज मोर ऑफ अ मेंटल गेम वेर आई कीप माई सेल्फ मेंटली फिट एंड मोटिवेटेड टू गिव दैट गिव दैट करेक्ट अटैम्प्ट दिस इज माई थर्ड अटैम्प्ट इन द फर्स्ट टू अटैम्प्ट आई हैव गॉट सेम पर्सन टेल ऑफ नाइनटी एट पॉइंट फाइव एंड इन द टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन अटैम्प्टव ऑल्सो कन्वर्टेड एन इटी इवन आफ्टर स्कोर इन नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट एट फाइव आई डिडन गेट अ कॉल I didn't get a call from Kozi Code and I didn't get a call from Shillong. So I am Shorudeep. I am from Kolkata and I graduated uh, uh, in metallurgy and materials engineering from IIT Shippur. and uh, after that i have got the opportunity to work in can oil and gas which is in the pakistan border from 2019 itself while i was doing my engineering i was very sure about uh, cracking cat and getting an mba when i was doing my college i found that i had a knack uh, to connect with people and generally go into organizing the organizing side of things and also understand businesses better so and also i have planned that i don't want to join an mba college being a fresher i wanted some experience because i am doing a masters in business administration so working in a business and understanding every aspect of it is really going to help me excel in an mba and get a better idea of what is generally been taught in an mba so that's why uh i actually planned it out that i am going to give cat 2022 very seriously and i am going to uh get into an iim this is my third attempt so in the first two attempts i have got a same percentile of 98.5 and in the 2021 attempt i have also converted an et this was one of my main attempts i also had it in mind that i would give a fourth attempt if it was needed in cat 2022 I have scored 99.85 percentile, and currently I am studying in IIM Bangalore. So in the very first attempt, I had got all my basics done for CAT. I actually tried to do the basics, but again, uh, the bandwidth didn't match. So I usually did self preparation. In the last two attempts, I usually prepared one section very strongly and. Uh, looked at what i could do in the other section so in the first attempt i was very strong in quants in the second attempt i was uh, very confident in q dilr and then in the third attempt uh, i again did a lot of vrc and generally tried to balance all the sections that also can be seen in my attempt in the first attempt i got an 81 percentile in vrc in the second one it was around 91 and in the third one it's 96.2 in my third attempt uh, i generally didn't prepare anything i was just given mocks so while i was given mocks it it was rather than given the mock and seen what score i am getting it was more important on what i am picking up from the analysis so sometimes when i used to get a high percentile sometimes i used to think that i should give another mock so that i have some more gaps to pick up on I used to maintain Kappa sheet, which is corrective action and preventive action. So whatever sections or whatever places I used to do mistakes in, I used to do a corrective action in which I used to see a video or solve more problems from it from time previous or question papers, and then a preventive action in which I used to think, uh, should I attempt this at first? Should I attempt it afterwards? I did a very thorough analysis uh, of each and every mock which I have given. i had given around uh, 35 mocks across time iims and cl and uh, there have been a lot of up and downs there have been mocks where i have scored very well and there have been mocks where i have gone even 64 65 percentile i think the 65 percentile mocks were more important because that's where i was learning whatever went went wrong and what should i do to counter that thing so with the number of attempts i actually got more confidence and i got more uh, more intuition on what i should do in the d day for me cat was more of a mental game where i keep myself mentally fit and uh, motivated to give that uh, give that uh, correct attempts here i used to understand where i am getting more anxious and what i exactly need to control so that i can do uh, the attempts much better that amount of composure 
and knowing what exact how to calm yourself down when when you are doing a mistake or when you are, can't attempt something is some, was something which really uh, gave me more confidence in the next attempts uh, it was not a life or death scenario so i can always fall back on other options so i was never very tensed about cat even after scoring 99.85 uh, i didn't get a call from amdabad i didn't get a call from kozi kod and i didn't get a call from shillong uh, being a gem getting all those calls are a bit difficult and my class 12th was in cbse so even a 91 92 doesn't cut it so to be very honest i was also not very sure if i would have get a bangalore call or even a lucknow call when the bangalore calls came in i was really elated and happy ki yeah i am see is not my only call i have other calls too one part of my interviews were very strong which was my work ex so generally i tried to lead most of my interviews towards work ex and especially in the exilera interview which was generally a stress interview i led them towards work ex they asked they asked some complicated questions and i was able to answer that that came out to be a really big positive for me in excel in that i had just 98 percentile and converting in that percentile is pretty difficult so answering each and every uh, work ex question was something which really gave me confidence after that they moved to the stress part of the interview i was pretty confident by that time and uh, they generally asked me why didn't you feel uh, fell for rajas and why um, and why do, do you think this is your favorite subject this is not taught in management so i was able to answer those un- those questions very effectively and they were overall very satisfied with the interview the bad experience was in i am bangalore so it was a 50 minute stress interview and um, they they asked me questions from my sop only but they were very good enough to understand where which points i was weak in they grilled me a lot and they they were also very supportive of whatever i was answering and they wanted to get the answers out of me but in some parts i really didn't answer very well so those interviews were bad but luckily i did convert imb so i would like to t- tell the aspirants who are generally working in remote locations is that may seem a bit difficult uh, to prepare to prepare in those locations but again there are advantages in which you are not in that noise and hustle of a city and so you can sit back and prepare so every in every situation there is a trade off and you should uh, maximize on the positive aspects which you have and secondly you shouldn't panic in between the exam in uh, in between the exam uh, i was in the morning slot it was a very difficult vrc section and also at the dilr section was pretty difficult and uh, compared to my mocks uh, for the past 3 years this was my worst performance in those two sections but still i hell, i took 20 seconds uh, 20 seconds gap after uh, the dilr and i really uh, attempted the quant paper really well maintaining that con- composure on the d day and before the d day is very important and i think more than preparation and concepts it's more about how mentally fed how mentally active or mentally strong you are till the last day you should be standing so that's what my uh, advice would be to the aspirants